guys, so right now what I'm going to do is try to do a quick version of some things you can do with Google Slides. Um, I have another video if you need more detail. This is just the very simple version. So I have an awesome assignment from my awesome science teacher, Miss O'Neill, and she asked me if I would rather be a wizard or a superhero. And while that is a conundrum, I think I know, okay? I am going to just do one slide in this presentation. My other video, I did like lots of different slides, but for this one, I'm just going to answer the question. So I'm going to insert. Just kidding. That's not the button I'm going to click. I'm going to go to slide, new slide. Um, you'll also see here, there are these key commands. If you're comfortable with key commands, learn them, use them. They're great. You don't have to know them yet. Okay. So we're going to go to new slide. Um, when I get a new slide, I already have a layout applied. There's already text boxes there. Um, but let's say I didn't want it to look this way. Easy peasy. You don't even have to resize and do all this work. You're just going to go to slide, apply layout, and I want it to look like this because I'm going to add a picture off to the side. So this already has text boxes set up for me. So right here, I'm going to put the word wizard. Okay. And then in this box right here, I'm going to write why I would like to be a wizard as opposed to a superhero. I would like to be a wizard because I would love to be able to do magic. Oh, spelled magic wrong. I'm just going to backspace there, period. I would like to be able to communicate with animals and a lot of of wizards can do that on TV or in books. See how I spelled lot wrong? I'm just going to take my cursor, drop it down, put that L, click back there. Okay, you always need that little blinky thing that's telling you that it is time to type. Um, I'd like to be able to communicate with animals and a lot of wizards can do that on TV and books. I think wizards have more flexibility with their powers than superheroes. Often, superheroes just have one superpower. Again, for some reason, missed the first letter there. Move my cursor. Often, superheroes have just one superpower. Wizards can learn many different powers over time. Period. I'm not going to go into more detail about that with you right now. Um, so, did I answer my teacher's question? Yeah. Does this look ready to turn in? Absolutely not. Okay. So, there are some basic things that you can do to make presentations look better. Changing your background. Changing your fonts. Adding pictures. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my background. So I'm going to go to slide, change background. Now, I have some choices. I can just change it to a color, okay, or I can choose images. Be careful with backgrounds that are pictures because sometimes the background can just be like, wow, okay. So we're going to talk about that. So you're going to have all these options. You're just going to go to Google image search, okay. Um, I'm going to type in stars because when I think of wizards, that's just where my brain goes. Stars. Okay. So I have all of these really cool pictures, right? Some of them are going to be much better backgrounds than others. For example, I'm just going to just, just do this. If I drop in, I'm trying to find a really bad one, one that really isn't going to work. This very cool image explaining distances and whatnot, and hit insert, wait for it, ah, right, like, that's a mess, so you don't want things like that, you want something kind of simple, and if you can't find something simple, use a color, so I'm going to click on this one, I'm going to click insert, and I'm going to click add to theme, if you just click done, it might be what you want to do, only one slide will have that background. If you click add to theme, watch. Do you see how that one changed too? And I'm going to click done. Now, you're probably like, um, <clears throat> lady, I really can't see any of that. That's a mess. You're correct, but I'm going to fix it. 
The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background of my text box and I'm going to make it white because white background, black words, it works. It's just simple like that. So I have my whole text box selected. I don't have a little teeny teeny blue. I have the whole box. Okay. I'm going to come up here where it says fill color, a little paint, and I'm going to go to white. Magic. You can see it, right? I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go to fill color and I'm going to make it white. Could I make it purple or blue or whatever? Sure. But my teacher has to be able to read my message. And if it's red background and yellow words, your teacher is going to be like, just going to be like this. She's going to be like, it's like ketchup and mustard all over the screen. I can't read this. And she's going to send it back to you and make you fix it. So keep it simple. All right. So now I can see a lot better, but yeah, yeah, just still kind of blah, huh? All right. I'm going to click on the outside of this text box. I'm going to show you something really quick. Right now, I'm not, nothing is selected. And I have all these options up here. When I click on the edge of that text box, I get a menu. Okay. These are font options. Now I can change the font. My title font can be kind of big and crazy and fancy because it's just the title, right? So I click this cursive one. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I like it. Okay. Now down here where I've been writing, where I gave my reasons, where I have my explanation, show you what happens. Is that what your teacher has time to read? No, she's going to be like, and send it back to you. Okay. So while I think this is a beautiful font and I love cursive handwriting, I think it's great. You don't want that. You want something super duper 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 super duper simple. Okay. And by super simple, I mean a lot of times just using Arial or Calibri. It's my favorite. Century Gothic. These are easy to read. The main body of your text should be easy to read. Sorry. I, I just feel very passionately about that. All right. It's really small. Do you agree? So I'm going to click plus, 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 plus. I'm going to stop. Now you're probably like, okay, uh, now it's too big. You're correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here. I'm going to click. I'm holding down with my pointer finger. And then my middle finger is going to drag this over here. Ah, that's better. I'm going to make this one click and drag. Okay. Now. Yeah. I'm going to double click that word. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go to center because I think it looks better. See all of this stuff up here? These are all options that you have. There are a lot of options and there's more than one way to do different things. So for example, if I wanted to change this font again, I'm going to hit control A on my keyboard. I'm going to make it black because it's gray for some reason. I thought I'd change that. I can do it like that, or I can click the outside of the box and change it. Would I do it like that? No, that's a beautiful color, but it's not really going to be what I need for this. Okay. So I'm just showing you that to know that there's not just one way to do all these cool things. There's like too many ways to do all of these things, but you're young, you're smart, you got the neurons, you got the dendrites, things are transmitting, things are connecting. You can do this. Okay. You can find different ways to make it work. All right, so this is looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it, but it could be better. So I'm going to go to insert, image, search the web. Okay, easiest way to put in pictures. It's safe. It's secure. You don't have to open a new tab. I have a search bar right here. I am going to type in the word wizard. See what I get. Okay, lots of different options here. Hmm. And you're a smart thinker. You're going to have to think about what's appropriate for your presentation, what's appropriate for school, all of those things. For example, this penguin, while adorable, isn't really getting my point across. I do kind of like the little Lego guy. Oh, I do, I do, I do. Hmm. You know, I'm going to go back up here because I think these are more relevant. Ah, you know, sometimes the first one's the best one. I clicked him. He has a check. I click insert. And he just happened to fit right in there, okay? Sometimes your image pops up and it's huge. Sometimes it looks like this. 
and you're like, oh, great. Thanks, Google. Yeah, that's not what I need right now. I get it. You don't need that. So you're going to click up here. See this little corner? When it's like this, that's going to let you move it. We're not ready to move him. We need to make him smaller. You're going to click, 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 click. See how it's an arrow now? Okay. Holding down with my pointer finger and I'm moving with my middle finger. And that's some coordination skills, but y'all got this. So I'm going to point and I'm going to pull. Okay. I, I usually just kind of like move him back up. And I'm going to put him right here. And do you see these magical red lines? Those are called guides. They're really cool because they help you center things. You know what? I'm going to just make him teeny, teeny, teeny. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think it's beautiful. All right. So that's the basics, right? Can you do more? Yes. Can you do a lot more? Oh, yeah. Is this good for now? Absolutely. Okay. We're going to talk a little bit more about it in class, but I just wanted you guys to have the basics because I know it's a lot of information. This is my number one piece of advice. Play with it. Explore. Have fun with it, okay? I didn't learn all this because someone taught me how. I've never, and I mean this, in my entire life, had a teacher teach me anything about Google Slides. Never, not once. But what I have done is sat at Google Slides and played with it. Added some images, deleted some things, you know, clicked on this button. What does this button do? I don't know. Okay, so you're going to play with it. You're going to have some fun, okay? Because that's how you're going to learn. It's just like anything else. The more you practice, the more you learn. But the thing about Google, I said it before, I'll say it again. There's more than one way to do something. There's a lot of ways to do something. You've got to find out what works for you. And there's only one way that that's going to happen. And that is, sorry, my brain just went. There's only one way that you're going to be able to learn it. And that's just to practice and play with it. Okay. So have some fun with it. You've got some great assignments in your science class this week that are super fun, crazy fun questions that you can just focus on the fun details instead of having to think and do the fun details at the same time. All right. Thank you. Bye.